This is the fourth section, chapter three, equations in inequalities. And this section is about linear inequalities. So we can solve linear um, inequalities. So that should say inequalities. I just need to put an in, there, uh, in there, linear inequalities in the same way that we solve linear equations or linear equalities, except we must reverse the inequality sign if we multiply or divide by a negative number. So just remember that sign needs to get reversed, that inequality sign, if you multiply, divide both sides by a negative number. Also, solutions for linear inequalities can be shown graphically on a number line as shown below. Here's some examples. So here, this is representing x is greater than two. So that open circle, so a circle that's not colored in, we will use if it's a greater than or less than symbol or a closed circle. So that's going to be a circle that's colored in for greater than or equal to or for less than or equal to. So one is called an open circle that's not colored in and the other one is called a closed circle when it is colored in. And a couple more examples here. So this um, diagram here is showing x is less than or equal to negative 10, less than or equal to, it's pointing this way to the left. And here we've got um, an inequality between two values. So x will lie between two values. Those values are 20 and zero. And it's less than 20, open circle here, but it's greater than or equal to zero, uh, which is here. So if your line runs between two values, you would write the inequality as one. But if you have two separate lines and there's a gap between them, then your inequality should be uh, written as separate one. So this here would be separate to this because there's a gap between them. Example seven, we want to find a set of values of x for which, and in part a, that which is five x plus nine is greater than or equal to x plus 20. So as I said, solve this like a normal equation. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I'll have four x plus nine is greater than 20. Then I will subtract nine from both sides. So I'll have four x is greater than 11. I'll divide both sides by four. So I'll get x is greater than or equal to 11 over four. And I'll leave it like that. I can't simplify that fraction and I wouldn't really want to change a fraction to a decimal unless the question said otherwise. So when it talks about a range of values or set of values, we will say x is greater than 11 over four. That's a range or a set of values. Now you could also write your answer in this form in a set of curly brackets. You write down the variable that you're referring to x, then a colon, and then you write the inequality here. And this is called set notation. So if you're asked to write your answer in set notation, this is an alternative way of writing your answer. Let's move on to part B. And part B, we have 12 minus 3x is less than 27. So what I will do is to subtract 12 from both sides. So I have negative three is less than 15. Then because I'm going to be dividing both sides by negative three, I need to reverse the sign. So it'll be become X is greater than um, 15 divided by negative three. So that'd be negative five. So that will be my answer x is greater than negative 5. I can also write that in set notation. And if I were to do that, it'd be x, the variable, colon, x greater than negative 5. So don't forget about flipping that sign when you multiply, divide by a negative number. And part c, we have 3, and then x minus 5 is greater than five minus two x minus eight so the first thing we're going to do is to expand the brackets so if we do that we'll have three x minus 15 
is greater than 5 minus 2x plus 16. I want to move all my x's to one side and the numbers to the other. So I will um, add 2x to both sides. So I'll get 5x minus 15 is greater than, now I can put the 5 and the 16 together to make 21, like this. And then after that, I will add 15 to both sides. So 5x is greater than 36. From there, I will divide both sides by 5. x is greater than 36 over 5. So that will be my answer. I guess on this one, I could write the 36 over 5 instead as 7.2, x squared and 7.2. And again, if I wanted to write, or if I was asked to write my answer in set notation, that would be x colon x greater than, let's put 7 over 7.2 here, rather than 36 over 5. Example 8. Find the set of values for which, and the first one, part A, we've got two inequalities here. 3x minus 5 is less than x plus 8. And then it says and. And it's important that we look at that word and. We've got another inequality here that we'll look at in a moment. But when we have the word and, when we're solving a pair of inequalities, we're looking for um, values of x which satisfy both inequalities. So they've got to satisfy both inequalities. And actually looking ahead at the next one, part B, and it has the word or. When we have the word or, when we're solving inequalities, it's values of x which satisfy either inequality, so either one or the other. So the first one um, that we're doing um, means that we're actually going to be trying to find the overlap of our solutions because we want values of x that satisfy both, but we'll go through that in a moment uh, when we uh, write our solution. So the first inequality here, 3x minus 5 is less than x plus 8. Take away x from both sides. 2x minus 5 is less than 8. Then we will add 5 to both sides. So we'll have 2x is less than 13. Then we'll divide both sides by 2. So we'll have x is less than 13 over 2. And that's the same as 6.5. So that's our first bit. Now we'll do the same for the second inequality which is 5x greater than x minus 8. So I will subtract x from both sides. 4x is greater than negative 8. And then divide both sides by 4. x is greater than negative 8 divided by 4, which is negative 2. So I have my two inequalities. So we've got one here. x is less than 6.5 and x is greater than negative 2. So what I'm going to do just draw a number line here, put these two inequalities on that number line, and then I can see uh, which values of x satisfy both. So I'm going to put 0 in the middle. I'll put 6.5 over here. Now this isn't to scale. Negative 2 over here. So let's look at the first inequality. x is less than 6.5. So that will look like this. Actually, let's color code this. So let's change that to green. And now we're going to do x is greater than negative 2. So that's going to look like this. And what we're looking for is the overlap of both inequalities, which is going to be this part here. So that's when x is between negative 2 and 6.5. So the letter x is going to be between or less than 6.5 and greater than negative 2. 
If I was going to write this in set notation, then my first bracket I have x colon and then x greater than negative 2. And I would use the intersect symbol because I now need to show another inequality and it's the overlap of both these inequalities x less than 6.5. So in this type of case where you're looking for the overlap of both inequalities or you have the word and then we'll use that intersect symbol there if we're going to do it in set notation. Let's have a look at part B and in part B we have x minus 5 is greater than 1 minus x and then the second inequality 15 minus 3x is greater than 5 plus 2x. So let's solve the first one. We'll add x to both sides so we'll have 2x minus 5 is greater than 1 and then from there we will add 5 to both sides so 2x greater than 6 which leads on to x is greater than 3. If we do the same with the second inequality we'll have 15 minus 3x is greater than uh, 5 plus 2x so what I'm going to do is add 3x to both sides. So I'll have 5 plus 5x and then 15 on this side. Take away 5 from both sides. So I'll have 10 is greater than 5x. If I flip that around, that'll be 5x is less than 10. Now, how do I know which way around to put the inequality? Well, basically, it's pointing to the 5x. So when I write it this way around, it should also be pointing to 5x. 5x is less than 10. Divide both sides by 5. x is less than 2. Now this one has or. So let me draw those inequalities and then we'll work out what the or means. So 0 in the middle. Let's put 2 here and 3 here like this. So my first inequality x is greater than 3 is going to look like this going that way and my second inequality which I'll do in green there x is less than 2 so it's going to look like this now because it's or it's going to be one inequality or the other so if I just write it um, Normally that would be x is less than 2 or x is greater than 3. Now if I'm going to write that in set notation, I would write x, or curly bracket, x dot dot x less than 2, close curly bracket, and then I'd use the union symbol because it's or, and then x dot dot x greater than 3. So you should now be able to do exercise 1D on pages 47 to 48 of the textbook.